Hi guys! So in this video I will show the material that I use. Uh, English is not my first language, not my native language, so I may commit some mistakes, but I think that's okay. So usually I use Monster High dolls, almost always from second hand, so I buy them already used. And I like Monster Highs because of their curves and their lips and their big eye that you can work on it. To remove the paint that comes by the fabric, I usually use a common acetone for nail polish remover. I use a cotton, so I swap the cotton and rub the face of the doll until all the paint is removed of her face. When I want to give more color, I use acrylic paint. So I prefer acrylics because they are cheaper and for me, how I live in Brazil, in Brazil it's hard to find materials for arts and sculpture, so I use acrylics because they have a nice color, they fit my budget and they give the touch that the color pencil sometimes don't give, so I use acrylics for that. For shadow and contour, I use soft pastels. These colorful ones that you are seeing on the video, they were very cheap, but the bad side is that they don't glue well on the plastic, so I need to pass tons of times, but I don't have money now for a good set. So what I really use are the pencils, the pastel pencils, because I like to make a sketch of the face before I paint it. They are easy to work because I can erase if I made some mistake or whatever, how I'm starting, I'm not professional, I can't draw direct with a color pencil, so I prefer to use them first. As watercolor pencils, I use this Faber-Castell set that I bought. They were the most expensive items that I invested, because I used it to use the ordinary common color pencils that you buy in any store, but their pigment didn't glue well on the plastic, so I needed to invest more, I felt that I needed to invest more on watercolor pencils of good quality. As sealant, this for me is the hardest part, because here where I live, I live in Curitiba, Brazil, I have zero access to Mr. Super Clear. If I want to ship it or export it, it's insanely expensive, so I don't do it. I hope one day I can, because for what I see, it's very good. So, I use one that is a um, general varnish that is transparent and matte. Per gloss, or when I want to give a shiny look for the doll, I use a liquid varnish that is shiny. So the brushes that I use are these ones on the left. I prefer the big one because it's soft and to paint full face or full body it's very good. All the others I use for small details. The scissors I use to cut small things and for modeling I use cold porcelain. Again, I don't have access to epoxy, so I work with what I got in the end. This is my shenanigans box. Here I put some items that I want to use to build or to, to make accessories. So I don't have many accessories now, but I hope in the future increase this volume. For gluing the wig or other parts, I use super glue usually. And for the wig especially, I use a fabric glue that I think is very good, even better than the white glue. Finally, for hair, I use yarn. But I'm thinking about using synthetic hair, but here is a little bit difficult to find it, so I use the yarn, even though the yarn gives a little more work to do it, but in the end you have a final good result. So guys, if you enjoyed the video and if you are interested in following my work and my growth at this work, subscribe my channel, like the videos, and I will try to upload a video every week. And I hope my English also improves during this. So thanks for watching. Bye.